Hey guys, I'm Matt Franz. I'm a senior studying forestry and fire ecology at the University of Idaho. I work at the Tree Ring Lab and we went up to Colville and Chewila this last weekend to core trees and cabins up there for the Historical Society. So these cabins are important because they are historical uh, artifacts. They are from possibly the 1860s to 1880s, they know for sure in that range, but there may be one from the 1840s from a French mission in the area. One of them you'll see is a refurbished cabin that looks a lot better than the other ones. That one has ponderous of pine up in the rafters in the ceiling to sort of support. And then you'll see Douglas fir in the side. And the Douglas fir we cord up and to the right to sort of make sure that we don't actually see it in the actual cabin once it's done being refurbished. The way that a core sample works is you go in there, drill it in, get it out, and what you get with that is a pith, hopefully, if you hit it right, and all these tree rings that you can see in there, like a normal cookie almost. But you just get a little sample of it so that you can see and count the tree rings going back to sort of update the tree to when it was first cut. We also cut a few core samples from actual living trees that are around the area to date them against the cabins. So with that, you take both core samples, you line them up next to each other to get a really good accurate date. But that's called cross dating, where you line up the tree rings and get a lot of these tree rings to line up with each other to sort of get an exact date for when the cabin was cut. I really love tree ring chronology and tree ring science because it gives you a basis for the past. It's almost like you're a historian using a tree. And with that, you can tell the climate, the droughts, everything that happened since the tree has been growing. This is my first time going on one of these trips, so it's actually really helpful to sort of get a gist of what it is. Learning the actual skills as like a basis for this, I'm hoping to further my career in this field. It's really great going out in the field with the Tree Ring Lab and the rest of the University of Idaho. There's a lot of great experiences out here to just get out, get involved, and have a great time. <laughs>